Our coffee breaks with researchers aim to spread knowledge about regional development and innovation. By sending a camera around the world, we present you with different angles and insights on the topic. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We want to make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with researchers. Today, I'm having a coffee break with Brita Hermelin. She's a professor in human geography at the Center for Municipality Studies, CKS, at the Linkshoping University in Sweden. Hello, Brita. Thank you for accepting my invitation to a coffee break. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Hi. Today, I'm having a Brazilian black coffee. Which coffee are you having? I have uh, an ordinary filter coffee, I think, in my cup here. Today I'm very interested in a paper you wrote about how local conditions affect uh, social entrepreneurship. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? The paper was about, we compared two cases of social entrepreneurship. Uh, these cases were initiatives in two small settlements in Sweden and in Norway. Uh, so we investigated how these were starting and uh, how they were managed and what type of activities they were doing. I can see that the key concept of your research is uh, social entrepreneurship. Uh, how would you define it? Social entrepreneurship is two words. Entrepreneurship is about uh, starting companies and uh, by innovative entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurship is also about taking risks and starting new ideas. Social in social entrepreneurship is about uh, social implications, that it should mean something from so for society. And uh, could you please tell me what was the main finding of your research? There are two main findings. Uh, we are both authors for this uh, article. I is co-author to get together with Greta Rusten. We are geographers, both of us. So we're very interested in, in place and scales. So starting with scales, we could see that these lo very, very local initiatives are contextualized into, into multi-scalar relations. There, there is a wave internationally about uh, ideals for social entrepreneurships. Uh, there are national uh, supporting structures uh, helping uh, people that want to start social, ent social entrepreneurships and uh, there are regional and also local policy structures that support this type of initiatives. So those local initiatives could be understood from a very from a close relations in multi-scale context. So that is the first one. The second one is about that social entrepreneurship re relies on social networks, local, the place of social networks. And those social networks, they, they are about stability and trust and also closure on one hand. And on the other hand, these social networks are about also openness in, in innovative relations to new partners. Thank you for clarifying that. And I would also like to know what was your personal motivation in doing this research? Uh, the general framework for that is the the social discussion about sustainable development. And sustainable development is about economic development, it's about ecological uh, sustainable development and also social development. So through this paper we were really, really interested to understand how economic and social development relates to each other. So the cases we have for this paper, these are settlements with really long and strong history of large manufacturing industry uh, that drives economic development and employment opportunities for these uh, areas and settlements. But we were also very interesting to understand that this also has social implications. It also builds social networks that can, that can do also social good for the, for the local settlements. That's indeed very interesting. And uh, based on these findings, um, what would you say is the main policy implication? important policy implications is to try from the policy side to understand what are the social resources available in the local context. What type of social capital, social relations are there established in the environment that you can encourage 
to to uh, be involved for develop social social sustainable of the local environment, and that needs to include different uh, parts of population because the cases we saw here was in to some extent very dominated by men, so it was very, very one-sided when it comes to gender. So, for instance, it's it's important for policymakers to make sure how one can include different parts of society and different groups of society. Brita, I find this topic really interesting. Thank you very much for your time again and for having a nice chat with me. And I hope to see you next time in our next cover break. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in more details about this publication, find here the link to the academic publication. Bye bye.